What is dating an Aries like? Aries are like children. They can be very aggressive, very outspoken, very bold, passionate, ambitious. And in relationships, that doesn't stop them. They want to conquer everything. So if they see someone and they want them, that is the only thing that they can focus on. They Like if they see somebody at school or at, at work or out at a bar, like whatever it is, if they are like finding that attraction and that draw and that pull towards that person, it will not leave their mind. They will become obsessed with it. It's Aries is ruled by Mars, so it's a very Martian like attack, conquer kind of a placement. And this is something that they will always be like that. They're always going to be competitive. They're always going to want to win. They're always going to feel like they deserve the best and feel like they need to go out and get it. Feel like they're number one, you know, they feel like they just inherently like are the best and they are confident in that way. They just don't have a like a level of chill. They're not typically insecure type of people. They're usually confident, outgoing. They can be introverted because they have a level of like getting annoyed with people. So it's more of like not that they aren't social or don't really like to be around people, but it's more of just getting like they're done. Like, okay, I've had enough of people. I would just want to be alone. Um, and it does kind of lead back to the them being the number one sign. It, they want to have some time to themselves, some alone time. They are very creative. They're a fire sign. They want to initiate things. They want to build things. They want to start projects and that kind of thing. So if you're dating them, you definitely need to give them their space. They get very bored easily. So you have to be entertaining, engaging, fun. They don't like lazy people. If you're someone who is like very lazy and relaxed and calm and like doesn't really like to do much they're probably going to be like bored with you even though they do sometimes themselves like to relax like anyone would um, but they want to have a partner who has a high level of energy and can kind of keep up with them or can even like bring them out of their shell sometimes like an Aries is a leader but they usually want to have like a friend or somebody with them like that they can kind of um, just tackle projects or adventures with they're also pretty bossy so you usually see Aries with like a couple other people who they're kind of like come on let's let's go do this let's go you know they love to just be like the leaders and they will take that role on like very easily they'll be like yeah nobody's making a choice okay I'm gonna decide we're doing this let's go and physically they need to have a high level of passion romance just a lot of that going on in their relationship to be satisfied they have a high level of lust so they just basically need to have that as often as they can and they usually will have a higher like taste and just desire for that type of thing i did say they get bored easily so they are known to be a sign that is not super faithful just because they will move on to the next thing if you are not meeting their needs if they're bored with you if they feel like they are um, not being appreciated and you know not given the respect and admiration that they think they deserve they will more than happily just be like all right well peace i'm gonna go out tonight you know they're gonna be outside literally immediately after you guys break up and i said this before they can move on so so fast like like nothing like you won't even think that they had a relationship or a boyfriend but or girlfriend but it doesn't really matter it's it that doesn't dictate the meaning of the love or the relationship that they had once in their mind they are done with someone and they they're moving on it's like immediate like immediately you're dead to me mars can just cut people off like that mars is very very harsh so once you are done with an aries person it's like completely done forever never again depending on what else is in the chart of course there can be other sensitive placements other earth signs that maybe are making them more uh, you know stick around longer aries can get very moody as well very aggressive so you have to just kind of learn to deal with that. They can say very mean, angry things, but then get over it like that. Um, so if you're someone who holds grudges and, and that kind of thing, like you just gotta get over it because they're gonna say crazy things from time to time and they're gonna move on like that. Like they're gonna look at you like, what, why are you mad? Like, aren't we done with that fight? Like, you know, but cause, cause to them it was like, they didn't mean it, it wasn't that serious. And to other people, it's like, you really hurt my feelings. You, really, you said something very mean, you behaved in a crazy way. So it's like kind of, you know, hot and cold. They'll behave erratically and childlike and immature. And then the next minute they're like, what? Like, let's go to eat. Let's go to lunch. Let's go do this. Like, hurry up. Let's go. You know, they're just like, they bypass emotions very fast.
So that is your Aries placements. If you have Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising Sign, and Aries, let me know your feedback. I have a free workbook available when you join my Patreon. So see the link in bio. It is a full workbook. It is really amazing. It will show you all of the houses, all of the planets, their modality, their elements. It gives you a really good breakdown. And there's a couple of workbook you know, things that you can do with your own chart. So it is amazing. Check it out. And if you're interested in booking a reading with me, links in bio as well.